Coke is one of the worst things that you can put in your body. Diet soda destroys your body. It's bad because it makes your insulin spike. Despite the health warnings, diet pops are still very popular. These drinks can increase your risk of negative health issues like diabetes. A higher risk of heart attacks. And Metabolic syndromes. Actually gain more and weight. And it makes people like become obese. Artificial sweeteners can be as addictive as recreational drugs. But how healthy are these low calorie drinks? Diet Coke is poison. Or is it? Studies show that it's bad, but studies also show that it's not. Oh, I'm so confused. Let's cut the BS and find out, is diet soda actually bad for you? By the way, I'm not getting paid by Coca-Cola for this. Personally, I like to enjoy a Coke Zero a few times a week. However, there are a lot of people out there who will criticize others for drinking diet beverages. Most of these people are not scientists, and they're food shaming in a way that isn't even based on facts. The ingredient that people often attack is aspartame, an intense, low-calorie, artificial sweetener used to replace sugar. Aspartame is actually one of the most well-tested food ingredients, which has been improved by over 100 regulatory bodies who reviewed it as safe for consumption at current levels. Now, now, because aspartame is a chemical, some people will say that it's poison. Probably heard some people say, don't count calories, count chemicals instead. The thing is, chemicals are a normal part of life. Water has chemicals, so does that mean that we shouldn't drink that too? Now take a look at all the stuff on this ingredients list, and do you want to know which poisonous food is made up of all these chemicals? Who's that Pokemon? It's a regular banana. You think you're funny? Huh? You think you're funny? Look, if you're anti-chemical, you pretty much rule out everything. Do we really think the aspartame haters look at the chemical composition of every single thing they consume? I don't think so. I get asked all the time, is Diet Coke safe? And it's easy to answer yes or no, but the only way to properly know the answer is to look at the most relevant studies out there. So let's get into what the science says. You'll find people claiming that animal studies prove the negative effects of Diet Coke, and they will have scientific data to back this. However, the results spoken about in these studies haven't all been replicated in humans. Studies conducted on captive rats and mice can't completely represent how an average human would react to aspartame. I'm not a lab rat. Another issue with a lot of these studies is the quantity of aspartame being given to the animals. In many cases, they were given way more than a typical person would consume. To drink the equivalent amount, it would mean having dozens of liters every day. Studies like this aren't really relevant to people who have diet drinks in moderation. The risk is in the quantity. Hi, I'm Jamie Moran, co-founder of Body Smart Fitness. Now we are a team of women's weight loss experts, and to date, we've helped over 3,000 women transform their health, fitness, and nutrition. On average, most of our clients lose five to 10 pounds a month and keep it off for good. So why do people cling on to this data like it's undeniable proof? The truth is, if you look hard enough, then you can always find evidence for what you believe to be true. I mean, there's a ton of proof out there that the earth is flat, right? You're telling me it's not. People who want to hate on Diet Coke will focus on the high dose mice studies to support their argument, whilst ignoring the real dose human studies. The good news is, rodent tests aren't the only studies that we have. There are plenty of human studies that test the effects of normal quantities of Diet Coke, and the results are very interesting. <laughs> Generally, there's plenty of existing evidence that aspartame is safe at current levels of consumption and has no adverse effect on humans. The next findings I'm gonna tell you about are part of a recent meta-analysis, which takes into account multiple studies about the same issue. This is stronger than a single study because it increases the size of the study, the accuracy of the results, and the trends of the effects. This meta-analysis of human randomized controlled trials, which is the gold standard of scientific research studies, found that substituting sugar sweetened beverages with diet beverages correlated with weight loss. Studies even suggested that the consumption of diet beverages helped with weight loss more so than water. What did you just say? And this makes sense, right? Diet drinks allow you to enjoy something sweet while swapping 139 calories and 35 grams of sugar for something with zero calories and zero grams of sugar. So rather than showing harmful effects on humans, the meta-analysis actually shows benefits to consuming diet drinks. Now look, I am not saying that Diet Coke is good for you, and I would never push it on someone who doesn't like it. But I think it's reasonable to say that having a spa team in moderation isn't going to hurt you. And that makes me happy. Just like many elements in nutrition, the danger is in the dosage. 
Drinking too much of even the healthiest of drinks, like water, can kill you. And I'm totally serious, by the way. If you drink too much water, you can actually drown yourself and die. So, no matter what you're drinking, the most important thing is to be mindful of the quantity. We all know that alcoholic drinks are not the best things in the world for us, but a lot of people still have them because they enjoy it. So, while I would definitely recommend water as the best thing to drink to stay hydrated, if you like the taste of diet drinks and having a diet soda now and then helps you stay the course with your goals, then go for it. But hey, if you don't want to drink diet soda because you're scared of the chemicals and you're on a mission to be the healthiest person that walks the earth, then be my guest. But remember to live a little bit because guess what? You're still going to die. Regulatory bodies say it's fine. The studies say it's fine. I'm fine. I guess it's not poison after all. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please do go give us a thumbs up, it really does help. And if you wanna see more content on everything to do with your nutrition, fitness, and mindset, then hit that subscribe button. Now, let me know, do you drink Diet Coke? Are you scared of it? Are you scared of the chemicals or spa team? Let me know in the comments.